All right, let's see if I can do this again. Um, yeah, still a work in progress, but I'm just going to do one combat. I'm not going to go into the uh, the full on uh, what I did. And yeah, I'm using the camcorder, filming my TV screen again. So I'm going to go back and uh, yeah, I'm also going to clue in that I got to pop in um, my external microphone so that way I can use it, like just leave it there and kind of wander back and forth. Gosh, I'd like to get a lapel one or something. That'd be kind of cool. Anyways, hold on get to the thing here and I also have to uh, oh gosh I can't wait to figure out how to get rid of the flash if there's some way I could maybe um, like you know minimize this for a bit uh, or maybe not minimize do something anyways so that way you guys don't see the flash when I'm gonna uh, go from camera to camera anyways I'm gonna go to the close-up bits in a minute but uh, the nice thing is I just cut it forgot that you can now see my little arrows and stuff. I'm also going to wander on over in reality. I've got a clue in that that's the more important thing to do here. So I think I did mention way back when that uh, after um, uh, the Sun Tzu quote, I was like, okay, maybe I'll, I'll give a uh, take a, a crack at uh, Tarnuf here. And I'll show later on in another video why I'm starting to love, like I mentioned, about uh, using paintbrush and just taking like a snapshot of the... Um, the table and then going later on and start playing around with like doing arrows and moving around all kinds of stuff and then because you know when I was able to I was able to start going and seeing how far down I was going to dip and it's just like and then I could say okay like levels of conservatism uh, con, you know uh, how defensive I wanted to get and so on and so forth anyways so I did manage I'll, I'll, I'll explain to so only these guys are actually going to be attacking here so I'll just remove and math, fun, and games. I will go, I'm going to be doing a separate video, I guess I call it a, um, a uh, my uh, counters and Alberto markers 101 uh, thing. I'll go through the whole uh, nine yards. So, uh, yeah, it should help everyone out. Um, so these guys are going to be attacking those guys. I just thought, you know what, this is, I had mentioned before, I just think it's a good opportunity. Um, I. The 4th Army here did pop up a couple of regiments. That regiment was over here. I just brought them over just to kind of delay the Germans. I don't know what they're up to here. It's just not enough troops at the moment, and I'm just trying to do the best I can. Yeah, I know. But like I said, um, see what we can do. Okay, so here we go. Um, this is the first combat for the 4th Army. Yeah, I'll uh, okay, get ready for the flash. There we go. So like I said, we're going to do this guy here and this guy here. And hold on. Sorry, I was just finishing up my coffee. All right, so let me, um, you're going to see my giant force house. So right here, number 40, that's the 18th Infantry Division and the 178th Infantry Regiment. And they're going up again. Uh, and the Russian 4th Army HQ will uh, fully supply the attack. So they have a, uh, the 18th Infantry Division and three supply points, uh, strength points, sorry. And they're going up against the German number 21, and they are under um, command of Corps Command 1. Remember, these are just a bunch of Corps uh, core HQs uh, in this sector until the, ninth, uh, um, the German 9th Army with Shivers, I think. Um, arrives. I'll have to check. But he's just around the corner because after the Russians, after I finish the Russians' second move, I gotta do the second combat here. It's gonna be no combats here, I can tell you that much. Um, there's gonna be a, a, a little tiddly bit of recombination, and uh, then it's Operation Luther, what goes into full effect. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. Anyways, these guys are the, I can't pronounce them properly, uh, I'm sure I can't pronounce them properly. It's the P, I'll just spell it out, P-O-M-M-E-R-S-C-H-E-S, Pomarish Reserve Infantry Regiment. Uh, yep, and they have two, uh, the number two, Infantry Regiment number two, and they, are two, uh, they have two strength points. And they were originally part of the 5th Reserve Infantry Brigade of the 3rd Reserve Infantry Division. Whew. And they are defending across woods, which gives the um, the attackers minus two to their die roll. 
and it's going to give the uh, defender plus one. And none of the core HQs in core command one can supply the counterattack when we get to that. So here we go. And uh, yes, of course, I'm going to be using the um, the doubler. And I'll, oh darn it! You know what I wanted? I should have done. I wanted to, and I'll do it the next time. I'm going to put up a. Um, see if it'll go to it. There we go. The next time, what I want to do is um, get out the terrain effects chart and whatnot, and put them on. Uh, as files on here, and I could just like slap it on as a separate. Like I'll just you know cycle through the window, and you can see, and we'll go. Oh, rather than me kind of like doing this crazy thing with the you know the piece of paper, uh, you know trying to get it into focus and whatnot. I could just slap it over for a second, and we can go. Hey, and like I said, if I do some of the post recording, uh, blah blah blah, I can you know put the little window or whatever. We'll see. Anyways, it's not good as you can imagine with four strength points. Um, and a minus two to your die roll. Let's see if I can do this here. See that? God, I feel like I'm doing Star Wars, but it's hard, man. Yeah. So uh, obviously, I'm going to be using the. Um, well, I'm kind of calling it the die roll of death and the sock of sacrifice. I know, I, you know, part of you be like, oh, it's not very. Um, you know, you're always being so. Um, towards World War One and whatnot, but I'm also like, yeah, I also don't want to be a grim gym constantly. I want to be, you know, bring in a little, I'm not, I'm not trying to make light of things, but anyways, here we go. Uh, let's go with the flipping sock first, man. Come on. So I'm going, uh, yeah, I have to remember to call it first because uh, it'll affect um, if I lose. Uh, obviously I'm going for the, uh, I want to get rid of that minus you know, it sucks because I need a four, uh, nat a natural four, um, to get one hit. Uh, so that's, a, oh God, the inner meandering mic in me is coming out. <laughs> I think that means one third chance of uh, uh, normal hitting. So let's see here. Boy, I better hustle my ass because the battery. Oh, I did try that once and it seemed to, to be okay. What am I doing? Here we go. Come on, man. So to bring it down to minus one. Yep, minus one, excellent. All right, let me pop this in so I'll remember. So at minus one, we're still uh, not very good. Nope, so uh, I'm gonna go for the doubler. Come on, man, no two. Yes. That's the third 64 in a row I've rolled. You, uh, I was uh, trying to figure out where the camera was and whatnot, and for good for a good roll. I'm not kidding you. Holy f, that's a good sign. I hope. <laughs> oh yeah, I did say the minor, uh, the die roll. So now we're up to zero. Okay, now things are looking good. But I'm going to show you something. Uh, at least I see. This is why I wish I had popped it in. And I'm not doing another one. I've got other stuff to do for the live stream and stuff. But see how all of a sudden things start looking a, a little slightly bit better with the five? I mean, yeah, I know you get down to the three, but at least I've got a half chance now. Um, yep, let's go for the half chance, man. So I'm going for the, uh, I'm going to try to pop it up to uh, five. So I'm going to try to uh, do a column shift and go to five strength points. I'm going for the doubler. No two, no four. 16. Whew. All right, buddy. Come on, man. This is where you have to be smart. You got a 50-50, dude. Yep, I'm going to stop. Oof, except when I get to six, I get a two-thirds. Oh, actually, I got a hell of a lot more than that. Holy shoot, Luke. Look at this one. Maybe I'm wrong, but do uh, you see that? The six. I'll try to move. There we go. So, on a natural. Remember, we're on naturals now. Hmm. So if I get a two, I'd get a hit. So I'd only miss on a one. Mind you, I only miss on a one or a two now on a five, right? Just to get the one. Okay. And there's no chance of me... Okay. I'm going to go with the one-third. 
chance of missing. I just, uh, let's go. No one or two and uh, we'll force a retreat. Because um, uh, Germans are forced to retreat on half uh, their uh, hits. So here we go. Come on, man. No one or two, buddy. No one or two. I know. Ah, son of a B. Oh, well, that's the way it goes. No hits. So that means the Germans remain where they are. And I'm not going to tell you what was going on in superstitious line in my head before I rolled that. You're not going to, you wouldn't believe me. You wouldn't believe me. But all I know is when I saw the two, my superstitious head went, well, that's, that's what happens. All right. Ah, son of a bitch. Okay, so let's go back to the um, close-up shot. So they're not forced to retreat. I wasted a, I wasted a supply point. And there's a chance they could hit me. Because uh, they've got two strength points. Alright. So the... Uh, the, reserve, the German Reserve Infantry Regiment number two has two strength points. They're not forced to retreat, but they're unsupplied. So they're um, dropped down to one multiplied by three because they're not forced to retreat, so that's three strength points. All right, let's take a look at the odds here. Come on, it was worth a shot, man. It was worth a shot. And you know what? That been sucks that just uh, just dawned on me. If I had gone for it and won, the two would have uh, done it. Ah, okay. Why do I do this to myself? Oh, sorry. I forgot to go to the wrong one. Okay, so three. I think there's almost a no chance, right? You no, know, they got a six. If they hit us, if they roll on a six, okay. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Oh, what am I saying? They got a plus one to their die roll still. All right, let's go. So five or six, and they'll inflict a hit. Jeez. Yep, they inflict a hit. So the German um, twenty uh, German infantry regiment number two inflicts a hit. I'll go back to the. Sorry about the flashes again. All right, so they inflict one hit and. Um, that means the 18th Infantry Division, number 40, is going to have to take a take a loss. I'll pop that on now. Oh, oh well, it wasn't as devastating as uh, I've seen, you know, but uh, at least, you know, it could have been maybe worse, uh, like two hits or something like that if, um, where are we here? Still. Oh, well. It's really kind of, oh well, we'll see what happens, man. At least um, the Germans know we're kind of in business here. Okay, so that's it. I'll go back to the um, the wider angle shot if the camera will let me. Are you going to let me there, dude? Yeah, see? It freaks out sometimes. So that's it. Yeah, like I said, I'll talk about, uh, well, I'll go to the second combat here later and maybe that'll... Uh, Work out. Who knows? Okay. Oh, hold on. I'll try to get back to the other thing here. Uh, oh well. This has been uh, interesting, to say the least. Okay. Hope you're having a good one.